Welcome to the Simple Life Homesteading the Pioneer Way. This is Brenda Weatherly. Well, we're at the campsite. This right here is my tent. And uh, my daughter has a, uh, this is a grill right here. We also have a, another place to grill right here. We have a canopy up for a dining room. There's my son-in-law and my daughter and my mother. And there's my son-in-law and my daughter's pop-up tent. Uh, or pop-up camper, I'll say. And it's a nice setup. They've got a table that they can put inside or it's got a place to put it up uh, here. Right here is their little table that goes inside or it's got a place to hook it there to go outside. And she's bought a griddle for pancakes and she's got a coffee maker and a, and a uh, microwave, which I don't use microwaves. She's got a single burner so she can do pasta or whatever. And she's brought a table to do her dishes and wash up. And let me show you inside the camper. She's got a refrigerator. She's got a queen size bed behind that curtain. Behind curtain number one. Well, she probably threw a fit. She sees this. She didn't make the bed up last night. That's a queen size. There's a little sofa, and then that table goes between here to make a either more bed, and it's a table for a dining room. And then over here, there's another sofa area, and here's a place to do cooking and dishes. And then here's another full bed can can go in here. So this is their setup. It's really nice, and I will show you now my my little tent. Your burgers are done. Mine, yeah, well, mine's been done. Okay, you want me to take them off? I like my burgers done, and they don't like theirs too done. Okay, here you go. We aim to please. Is those hot dogs ready for you? I don't. I'd probably burn one of them. I don't uh, eat pork hot dogs. I brought Hebrew Nationals for me to eat another night. Burn that one for nothing. Oh, you want this one burnt for my daughter? She's like me. She likes the burnt. This is one for me and one for my mom. And uh, they're almost done. Hey, Mom. Okay, while well, that's cooking, hey, get away from the, the thing, Mom. I don't want you burnt. Come on, I've come left, on. I left the white one on there. You left the white one on there? Okay, I'm going to show my viewers our little tent. Here is my little um, shepherd's hook with my little lantern, and this candle will last a long time. Actually, we've got a clothesline set up and uh, drying some clothes. And they've even got lights. I didn't know they was going to have lights. That's rope lights and uh, two spotlights on that pole in that corner. I didn't know they was going to have those to light up the yard. So I brought my lantern. Because I'm doing the Pioneer thing. They've got electricity. This right here is my tent. It's actually uh, like a two-sided tent. I have had this set up before as a living room. I had uh, a oriental rug down here and a couple of chairs with a table between them here and um, so I can sit and study the word and uh, read at night if I wanted to and there is a light there is a light that goes right up there you can't see it before this and here is our queen size bedroom I've got it made up in my mom's pad so she wets the bed sometimes even though she wears diapers but anyway uh, all of these windows uh, zip up at night and uh, I have got my clothes just hung right here for now and this medicine and and night clothes and extra pad for my mom and anyway it's quite a nice tent it's a little two-bedroom tent and like I said I have this light right here it's a solar light and I can't reach it my son-in-law which is really tall he can just push that and the little lights the little lights all around the time comes up and then you can push it again I think and the whole thing shines 
So for just a night light, I'm going to have just the little round things. And I'm going to put it on the other side. You can flop it over so it will be on the other side. That way when my mom sleep in the bedroom. And this closes. It closes to the bottom on each side like it does. There's ties at the top and at the top of the side. And then there's also ties that go there. So she can be in there sleeping and resting. And I can be out here studying the word or uh, whatever I want to do. And anyway, we have been, this is the Sabbath, and we have been studying God's word. And we have been playing the canjo and having a good Sabbath. And my daughter just said my burgers were done. Is that hot dog done enough for you? That's okay, because that's your hot dog. All right. Now I'm going to get a couple more burgers on here. We didn't have room for the, all the other things. I'm just going to pick a couple more burgers for us to just warm up tomorrow and not have to really make a fire. I can just warm them up on the griddle. And um, unless they're going to... I think they're going to grill out again tomorrow so I can just warm those up or... I brought Hebrew National hot dogs for me and my mom. And uh, I've got pimento cheese for sandwiches. I've got Ritz crackers and uh, peanut butter for homemade nabs. We never buy nabs. We just make our own. And um, you want me to bring this over, Noke? My daughter's name's Noki. Her name's Nova Killian. We call her Noki for short, and sometimes we just call her Noki. Okay. You don't have a bun for that? Uh -uh. I've got buns if you want one. I don't like them on buns. Oh, okay. Too much carbs. Okay. All right. Let me let you go. I'm going to grab us a plate and get our dinner started. So until next time, this is Brenda Weatherly with A Simple Life, homesteading the Pioneer Way, saying keep homesteading.